Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today I want to talk about how to hold your computer stylus. If you were to take your first tennis lesson, the tennis pro would sit you down and show you how to hold the racket. Well, for some reason, that step never really happens with digital painting. So if you've done a lot of traditional drawing, you're probably used to holding your pencil on its side. Sometimes you'll hold it this way in order to get a wider, looser mark. And then changing your grip and drawing with the tip. Sadly, the way the stylus is engineered, you can really only draw with the tip. So you're gonna be using one grip the entire time you're working. No need to switch different hand positions. So let's take a look at this thing. On one end, you've got the eraser. And functionally speaking, it's pretty worthless. So we're ignoring the eraser. At the other end, you've got the tip, and that's what does the input. But then near the front, there are these two buttons. It's a long rectangular rocker switch that can have one action mapped to both the front and the back end. This is incredibly useful, but for a lot of people, it just gets in the way. They find themselves holding the stylus in the same way that they hold a pencil. But when holding the stylus in this way, it's easy to accidentally trigger that button. So you're drawing a line and then bam, right click. Well, that's a pain. Some people's solution is to replace the grip and completely get rid of the button. And that's one option. Personally, I'd recommend getting used to the button and embrace them into your workflow. My solution to this has been to hold the stylus in a totally different way. You can see the standard pencil grip has the anchor between your thumb, forefinger, and middle finger, leaving your other fingers out of the operation. What I like to do is to switch the anchor to hold it between my thumb and my ring finger. So you can see the new grip is not as pretty. It's got an extra finger in there. Well, what's that for? Well, here's the beauty. Now my middle finger is not involved in stabilizing the stylus, which means I can lift it off the stylus completely and I still have a firm grip. This is key. What this allows me to do is to have a finger dedicated to that rocker switch. When I hold the stylus, I'm anchoring it between my thumb, ring finger, and forefinger, leaving my middle finger free to do keyboard shortcuts. And because of the way that Wacom allows you to assign custom keys to these two buttons, it can do whatever you want. I found that right click is incredibly nice because I'm using my stylus to navigate windows and you're always right clicking for one thing or another. In Photoshop, it usually changes my custom brushes. And of course, it's totally up to you what you map to these buttons. But in my case, the second button is mapped to switch displays. And this is because I've got two monitors and it allows me to switch which display my cursor is on currently. For you though, who knows what it's useful for? It probably sounds crazy that I'm encouraging you to change something as fundamental as the way you hold your pen. But I like to think of it this way. We learn to write in a certain way and we learned how to write on a tool that didn't have buttons at the front. Well, now you're using a different tool completely. In some ways, it does look like a pen, but fundamentally, it's different because it has those two buttons. So since those buttons aren't going anywhere else, and they can be really useful, you might as well experiment with different grips that allow you to more easily access them. And if you guys have any other crazy grip that you like to use, please talk about it in the comments. I'd really like to hear more about this. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for future videos.